In the swinging era of television emerged a masked crime fighter, the Green Hornet, captivating audiences with its unique blend of action and intrigue. Debuting in the mid-60s, the series was a departure from the typical superhero archetype, showcasing the enigmatic vigilante Britt Reed and his alter ego, donning a sleek mask to combat crime in the city. Notable for its crossover with the iconic Batman series, this show carved its own niche, offering a darker, more sophisticated tone, complemented by its memorable theme music. The Green Hornet left an indelible mark, not just for its action sequences, but also for its layered characters and intricate storytelling. The enduring appeal of this series lies in its pioneering approach to the superhero genre, breaking away from convention while maintaining a sense of mystery and thrill. Its impact resonates in the realm of entertainment, influencing subsequent portrayals of masked crime fighters and leaving an everlasting imprint on the industry. For many, a particular scene or moment remains etched in memory, a testament to the series' enduring legacy. What stands out as a testament to its longevity is its ability to remain a symbol of innovation and boundary-pushing within television. Your cherished memories and personal experiences connected to this series hold immense value. Share your stories, relive those moments, and let's celebrate the legacy of the Green Hornet together in the comments below. Remember, your experiences enrich the tapestry of this timeless show's history. Share away. In the mid-1960s, the TV landscape was abuzz with superhero shows, and amidst this fervor emerged the Green Hornet. This series was a spin-off from the success of Batman, capitalizing on the superhero genre's popularity. Developed by the same creative minds behind Batman, the show followed the adventures of newspaper publisher Britt Reed, who by night donned the mantle of the vigilante Green Hornet. Assisted by his trusty martial arts expert, Kato, Reed fought crime disguised as a criminal himself, using his impressive fighting skills and the iconic black beauty car equipped with gadgets and weaponry. What set the Green Hornet apart was its departure from the typical superhero archetype. Instead of a caped crusader, the protagonist was a masked crime fighter operating undercover in the underworld, exploring the complexities of vigilantism and the blurred lines between heroism and lawlessness. The series was lauded for its action sequences, featuring impressive fight choreography, and for Bruce Lee's portrayal of Kato, which catapulted him to fame in the Western world. Despite its short run, the show left a lasting impact on popular culture. Its gritty tone and innovative storytelling influenced subsequent superhero adaptations and added depth to the genre's portrayal on television. The Green Hornet remains a notable entry in the superhero TV landscape, remembered for its distinctive style, memorable characters, and unique exploration of vigilantism, making it a significant piece of television history. The creation of the character Britt Reed, alias the Green Hornet, stems from the creative minds behind the Lone Ranger. He was crafted as the great nephew of this iconic Western hero, establishing a familial link to the legendary figure. This 1966 TV series delved into the adventures of Reed, a newspaper publisher who, under the guise of the Green Hornet, fought crime in a distinct manner. What further amplified the show's impact was its theme song, a rendition of Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov's The Flight of the Bumblebee, rearranged by Billy May into a vibrant big band jazz style known as the Green Bee. This catchy tune, highlighted by a trumpet solo from Al Hurt, became synonymous with the series. Notably, Bruce Lee, who portrayed Kato, not only contributed to the show's fight choreography, but also imparted martial arts techniques to co-star Van Williams, shaping the action sequences and character dynamics throughout the series. Al Hurt, known for his hit song Java, was chosen by Billy May to perform the opening and closing title music for the series. Hurt utilized a musical technique called double tonguing in his performance. This musical score became synonymous with the show, contributing to its unique vibe and leaving a lasting impression on viewers. The inclusion of Hurt's talent added a vibrant and memorable element to the series' identity, setting it apart in the realm of television soundtracks. The music, complementing the action-packed scenes, became an integral part of the show's overall appeal, cementing its place in television history. Proud of Bruce Lee's starring role, much of Asia referred to the series as The Kato Show. Bruce Lee's portrayal of Kato catapulted him to fame in the Western world, and left an enduring impact on popular culture. 
The series, known for its departure from typical superhero archetypes, explored the complexities of vigilantism and blurred the lines between heroism and lawlessness. Interestingly, Kill Bill, Val. One paid homage to the Green Hornet, featuring its iconic theme and the Kato-inspired masks worn by the Crazy 88 Seconds. Additionally, with the success of the 1989 Batman film, a campaign reunited actors from the 1966 series to promote syndication, where Van Williams made appearances. Bruce Lee's influence, evident in the series' nickname and cultural references, remains a testament to the show's enduring legacy in television history. In the 1966 TV series, Kato's character underwent a significant evolution. Originally portrayed as Japanese in the 1936 radio show, historical events led to changes, with Kato briefly becoming Korean before settling on Filipino in the 1940s. By the 1960s, the character became a generic Asian, paving the way for Chinese-American Bruce Lee's iconic casting as Kato. Seth Rogen's tribute to Lee in the 21st century film maintains Kato's Chinese origin. This transformation reflects the series' adaptability and the impact of global events on character portrayal. Interestingly, throughout the series, the Green Hornet rarely took the wheel of the iconic Black Beauty. It was Kato who handled the driving duties, a departure from the original radio version where the Hornet was always in control. This subtle shift in the TV adaptation adds a layer of dynamic teamwork between the vigilante duo, emphasizing Kato's integral role beyond martial arts expertise. In the radio version, Frank Scanlon held the position of police commissioner, but to avoid confusion with Batman's Commissioner Gordon, the TV series reimagined Scanlon as the district attorney. This strategic adjustment showcases the series' commitment to distinct character dynamics and its willingness to adapt to the television landscape. The 1966 TV series of The Green Hornet not only brought a unique crime-fighting narrative but also navigated cultural sensitivities and adapted to the evolving expectations of its audience. From Kato's diverse origins to the division of driving responsibilities, these aspects contribute to the series' lasting legacy in the realm of superhero television. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of the masked vigilante and his trusty sidekick, it's impossible not to be swept away by the nostalgia of the Green Hornet. This timeless series, with its noir allure and crime-fighting charisma, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of its audience. As you reflect on the shadowy streets and the thrilling escapades, consider the personal resonance that the Green Hornet has had in your own life. Perhaps it was the captivating plot twists that kept you on the edge of your seat or the unforgettable characters that became your companions. Take a moment to delve into the recesses of your memories and unearth those gems of connection with the series. Did it inspire your own sense of justice, or maybe it served as a beacon of entertainment during a particular chapter of your life? Share your cherished reflections, your most treasured moments, or the lessons you gleaned from the daring exploits of our masked hero. Your narrative adds a unique layer to the rich tapestry of the Green Hornet's legacy, and we're eager to hear your story. Whether you found solace in the gripping narrative or reveled in the stylish allure of the crime-fighting duo, your experiences are a testament to the enduring magic of this classic series. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane, where the echoes of the Green Hornet linger in the air. Your thoughts and memories are the threads that weave this narrative into a vibrant tapestry of shared experiences. So, don't be shy, share your tales, your insights, and your unique connection with the Green Hornet. Your voice adds a harmonious note to the symphony of fandom. Appreciate your time and the resonance of your stories after all. It's your narratives that keep the spirit of the Green Hornet alive. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay entertained, and remember, the adventure never truly ends.